Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basic Course Service Now Learning. In today's video, we are going to talk about client script and UI policies. In this video, we are going to explore the similarities between client script and UI policies, the differences and the best practice. And we are also going to see that which executes first client script or UI policy. This is the mostly asked question in interview. So let's see the first question that is which executes first. So here we have the answer client script executes first. If there is a conflicting logic between a UI policy and client script, then UI policy logic applies. This line has been taken from the source given below. That is from the developerservicenow.com. So I will be sharing that link in the description. So you can navigate to that particular page to get more information about it. But the answer is that client script executes first. So let's talk about the second topic that is similarities between client script and UI policies. So client script and UI policies both executes client side manage forms and their fields and both use the same service now API. So the similarities between client script and UI policies are client script and UI policies both execute on form load. Client script and UI policies both executes on form field value change. Client script and UI policies both require control over order of execution. In client script, you can customize the form to add the order field to it. Okay, so these are basic three similarities between client script and UI policies. So let's see the another topic to explore that is differences. So the difference between client script and UI policies is that client script executes on form save, submit, update, whereas UI policies does not, right? As we have read earlier in similarities that on load and on change, both client script and UI policies have similarities, right? But when we talk about differences, then client script executes on form, save, submit, update, whereas UI policies does not. Client script have access to fields, old values, whereas UI policies does not, right? So here for old values, I will be showing one script to give more understanding on it. So let's navigate to service now personal development instance. So friends here I have already created one script just to give a exposure on old value. So this is a client script on change type where see in the script section we have control old values new values is loading is template. So we can use these parameters in the script for old values we can use this parameter and for new values we can use this parameter so i have just put a one alert message into an incident table where i am printing a state value okay see alert state old value here just to print the state value the old one and here the changed value of a state so let me navigate to here type incident and create new okay so once i change the state so it will See earlier the value was new, right? Once I am changing the value, see resolve, it is saying me that the old value is new and the new value is resolved, okay? In this way, we can get the old value of a particular field, right? So, I believe now you have understanding of this point, right? Client script have access to fields old value, whereas UI policies does not. The third difference is UI policies set field attributes with no scripting, whereas client script does not, right? Let's say we have to make the field mandatory, read only, hidden, visible, right? For that in UI policy, no script is required. We only need UI policy action for the same. But for client script, in case if we have to make the field read only mandatory, right? Then we have to write a syntax for the same. The fourth one is client script executes on list view, whereas UI policies does not. So let me show you the list view. Go here, see? This we call list view. So for this, in case, we have on cell edit client script right but from ui policies we cannot manage the same right so i believe now you have understanding of the fourth one that client script executes on list view whereas ui policies does not right so we are done with the three topics 
that which executes first the another one is similarities the third one is differences now the last which we have to explore that best practice so the best practice is that always use ui policies to make field mandatory visible hidden and read only because ui policies no script is required for the same only ui policy action needs to be created and it is easy to maintain so this is all for this video this video is just for the information perspective so not much practical information has been given in the same i believe now you are clear with uh, the topics which we have explored in this video so if this video is helpful then please like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you friends have a nice day bye bye take care